Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Epis Dwarf, and welcome back to LEGO Arts. In the last episode, we did a showcase on the Halo Blue Team remake. Now, this episode, we are taking a look at a solo Big Fig showcase. Okay, so this time showcasing the Iron Giant. So, as you can see, we have the Giant over here, as well as a miniature Hogarth that's resting on his shoulder, which is originally was going to be in the palm, which I'll explain with that in a bit. So, the Giant was, uh, wasn't a figure, like, on my list to do. Like, I've seen some cool custom Iron Giant Iron Giant figures, and I thought about, like, when doing the Giants, of maybe doing it, like, in a large big fig, maybe, like, the buildable figures, how I did with the Monsterverse, Monsterverse, uh, but never could figure out, like, uh, the time, uh, the time to fully put one together, but then, one day, I saw that, uh, Calypso Customs, and Customs on Instagram, were posting up some updates for some custom figures that they do, and they sell these awesome big fig kits, and one of the kits that they were selling were the Iron Giant, Iron Giants, and I looked at the figure, and was like, that looks so cool, that's so cool. So I picked up the kits, uh, painted them up, and painted them up, and them up, uh, took a miniature Hogarth, Hogarth to attach it on for the full set, and this is the final result. And this looks really great, really uh, great, and it was really well done. So, as you guys know, to draw board, take this figure, uh, figure, do a review, and explain the process, why we have to attract, and then go from there. So without further ado, let's get the pedestal out, and get the showcase on the road. So getting a better view of the Iron Giant, you can really see, like, how much accuracy it's, uh, replicated, like, from the movie. In the movie, like, Calypso did an amazing job of scaling it down to a big fig size. I think the only things that are really missing from the giant would be, like, the rivet detailing. It's on, like, on the chest, on the chest, and around with the hips, uh, with the hips, and maybe, the, like, the little dents, like, on top of the head. But honestly, those are, like, such small, minor stuff, uh, minor stuff, that said, uh, this could honestly be, like, if LEGO had ever done an official Iron Giant big fig, big fig I could see it looking something like this. Uh, like this, it matches up pretty well, and uh, pretty well with the overall characteristics, characteristics of the giants, and I think it looks really, really great. So, some bonus stuff, stuff for it. It's got some articulation with the arms, which I think is really cool, and uh, cool. And uh, just like with most big, most big figs, uh, no articulation in the legs, but honestly, that's all right. That's all right. Like it's a pretty cool standard as it is, and it is uh, the standing positions for like are, are okay, are okay. This like does have like some difficulty of fully stabilizing in. And like is again, and not just because that the platform is a bit different and different. Uh, I found out that uh, when putting it on a minor plat, on like a standard minifigure platform, uh, form at least one of the legs was a little bit too loose. So it's better on displaying a figure like this to have it on a stand, uh, a stand with at least uh, two studs and two stud pieces directly underneath the feet. So that way you have full, uh, full stabilization for it. Uh, the hands were originally, uh, did originally have articulation. In fact, like, my original idea with the small Hogarth here was uh, the giant was going to, like, hold his hand out and out, and Hogarth was going to, like, rest inside of it. You know, just like in the movie, in a movie, because I think uh, that would have translated really, really good. Unfortunately, though, I made the stupid error on not removing the hands when I applied the base paint onto it, and I didn't realize that until when I went to move in the arms, on the arms, that they're now fused, stuck in place, in place. So that was an error on my bad. Uh, my bad, but I figured that like a close second, a second would be Hogarth resting on top of the giant, uh, giants, uh, giant, and it still looks pretty great, great. And with the overall like sculpting work, like pretty much everything was already done as it was. The most of the majority stuff that I really had to do was go back in and do some of the base painting work. Like I based it in black, and then went over in with the gunmetal gray, uh, gray as like the primary color for it, and then went back in with like some. And some like standard dark gray to fill in like some of the gaps with some of the detailing like for the giant and around with the neck and neck uh, the upper biceps biceps uh, the waist and a waist and with the legs uh, and the legs uh, and it still looks really really great and just for some most small detailing here we have the closer look at the small Hogarth figure uh, figure I used a micro figure that uh, is usually used for like small trophies or toys with Legos. Uh, Lego stuff uh, that I figured that this would work perfectly is to replicate and to like replicate of the whole giant uh, giant as a whole and he is super glued in place I made sure to do that and uh, so that way he's stabilized in position sorry if there's a little bit of shake I'll shake with the camera I'm trying to hold this as best I can and I can because it's such a strange angle and angle that uh, it needed to hold it in place but uh, but overall like I painted up as best I could Easily, this was the trickiest thing that I've had to paint in a while because it's so small, so small that I knew I wasn't able to fully, uh, fully apply on all the detailing as possible, possible. But I did the best I could and even sculpted out like the smallest amount of hair, amount of hair for this figure as possible, possible. So painting wise, I know it's not perfect, but given with the size as it is, 
That is, it's close enough for representation. And there we go. That's going to do it for this episode of LEGO Arts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Looking back at it, uh, Iron Giant is probably, like, one of my favorite big things that I've done. Because the movie itself is such a classic. And a classic. And, again, for a while, I have thought about uh, doing a LEGO Iron Giant. But wasn't sure, really, like, how to fully approach the character. So, when I saw uh, Calypso had made this kit, and this kid, I figured, of like, uh, all right, I'll try and I'll try it out with this, see how it turns out, and it looks really great, uh, great, and apart from the minor screw-ups that I mentioned beforehand, beforehand, this still turned out really good, and the small Hogarth on, Hogarth uh, with the Giants fully completes the character, and it looks really, really amazing, amazing, so if you want to get, uh, like, one of these kits, and get yourself, you could, I'll include a link uh, to Calypso's, uh, to Calypso's Instagram, as well as their store page in the description below, they've done, um, uh, they do awesome custom figures, and figures, especially some incredible big figs, and big things that I hope, yeah, you know, that I hope to customize, customize again in the future. Uh, in the meantime, for going further on with LEGO Arts, in other words, I finally, finally started working on, working on the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth project. Rebirth project, like, uh, I've been painting up, like, a new cloud figure, started on some small, and some minor stuff with, uh, Zack and Yuffie, you know, I think I have a solid idea with how I want to approach for Vincent, uh, Vincent, uh, but still working on with that, so, I'm waiting for parts to come in for, uh, for Sid, and I'm still trying to figure out entirely, like, how I'm going to do Red 13 and Kate Sith. So, hopefully, they'll all come together and get her later on in the future. In the meantime, I hope to start up again with, uh, with some gameplay soon. At least soon. Just taking a short break for them for now. For now. But hopefully, we'll be back in Let's Plays Let's Play soon. And, uh, yeah, overall, that's going to be it. So, if you want to check out some of the other projects I've done, such as, like, God of War, God of War, Kaiju number 8, uh, 8, uh, Batman, and all the other stuff, you can check them out in my LEGO Arts playlist. That's in the description below. And for now, that's going to be it. So, if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to be able to help us or the like space, like a button, because I'm going have some fun. So, overall, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button, come on board, shake, stretch your breath, and that new video following Twitch. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time in the next video. Goodbye!